hello people i hope you all are doing fine so we flew from delhi to mali through colombo on sri lankan airlines i wish we had time to see some of the highlights of sri lanka Taj Exotica is located not too far from the Male Airport and it's just a 20 minute boat ride away. You don't have to take a seaplane there. As soon as the boat pulled up to the resort, we were given a warm Maldivian welcome with music. Surrounded by tropical beaches, beautiful turquoise waters, palm trees and the purest sands, the Taj Exotica Resort and Spa is a gorgeous destination in the Maldives. The 5 Star Island Resort is a perfect getaway for those who seek silence and some peace. Hello you people, I am back again after ages. I can't put in words how elated I am to be on my first international trip that is the Maldives. I've been thinking about this trip for quite some time now and the property I have booked is Taj Exotica. So let me show you around. This villa features classic Maldivian style accommodation that has palm thatched roof. This bathtub with a sea view has my heart. Interiors with natural wood finishes and large windows with panoramic views of the lagoon. And this villa has a private plunge pool too. I love the architecture and the decor inspired by the local Maldivian culture. Falling asleep to the sound of the ocean and waking up to the sunrises was an experience like none other. I was flabbergasted seeing the Maldivian sunsets. They paint the sky such pretty shades of pink, purple and coral that I have never seen anywhere else.
The resort and the setting are impressive, the service impeccable and the privacy one can get is unparalleled. We didn't see many drones and selfie stick totting crowd. The level of luxury is astonishing but not over the top that it is snooty. For dining, there was always fresh and locally sourced food served at 24 degrees, which is where we had most of our meals. The restaurants serve a wide assortment of delicacies ranging from pan-Asian cuisine to international favorites. Fresh seafood was a highlight. We woke up every morning eager to see the sunrise from our patio. The sky began its wonderful transformation around 6.30 am. What better than enjoying that with some freshly made carrot juice. It's almost 8 in the morning and now we are going for breakfast and look the weather is amazing. One thing we love about staying at Taj properties is having access to Indian food and Taj Exotica did not disappoint. A nice setup of pan-Asian breakfast after a morning swim is a nice experience. The water was so crystal clear that we could see the fishes so clearly. Another day, another morning and we are shifting to the other water villa. After gazing at the sunsets by the beach, we went for the dinner.
we had dinner this night at the deep end the other restaurant of this hotel and oh my god i am in so love with the desserts if anywhere on earth epitomized an untouched tropical paradise it would be the maldives Maldivian cuisine has its roots from India and the Middle East, while neighboring countries including Sri Lanka provide ongoing influences. It should come as no surprise that as an archipelago nation, fish and other seafood is a large part of the diet along with coconut and starchy staples such as rice. After bidding our goodbyes to Taj Resort, we are heading to another island. This resort is Malhini Kuda Bendos and it is situated at Kafu Atoll. This time we chose a beach villa and let me show you around. Inspired by local Maldivian island homesteads and modern lavish interior, this new room category is the perfect blend of contemporary and tradition. Teeming with essence and style and the meticulously chosen and handcrafted furniture, washed with gentle seldance and sublime views create a fusion of every element. This open concept bathroom space is to die for. Nestled within the Kafu Atoll, encompassing a picturesque lagoon, white sandy beaches and turquoise crystal clear water, Malhini Kuda Bendos is a perfect ideal tropical holiday experience. In the end, the Maldives lived up to the hype. It is probably going to be a holiday that will linger in your mind long after you have left. Hello people, this is our last day in the Maldives. We are chilling on the beach right now. And this time I didn't vlog much as I wanted to be in the moment. But I hope you like the snippets. See you until the next video. Bye-bye.